y'all it's me Chelsea and welcome to my channel today's video is going to be on my eyebrow routine um in the video I only do one eyebrow but I do the exact same thing to the other one so this will just show you the products I use and the method I use to achieve my eyebrows um this eyebrow routine was like filming it was harder than I thought it would be but I think it turned out good um, I want to show y'all a funny picture of what my eyebrows used to look like, so that picture will be right here. Oh my god, that picture is so funny. Every time I see it, I be like, why nobody didn't tell me about my eyebrows? I really thought my eyebrows was on fleek, y'all. Like, the best eyebrows. I think I wore those eyebrows to school. I thought my eyebrows was on fleek. But if you would like to see my current eyebrow routine, just continue to watch. Okay, this is the products I use. This is BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio in Medium. This is a LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fun. Then this is the spoolie brush. The next brush is a blending brush that I use to blend out my concealer. The next brush is an ankle brush that I use to put on my concealer. And I think this brush is by BH Cosmetics. This brush is another angle brush. And this is by NYX. And it's used to put on that BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow. Okay, right here, I'm just uh, using that spoolie brush to brush my brows into place. And now I'm going to dip my brush into that Flawless Brow Trio. And I'm going to uh, follow the natural shape of my brows. And I do short strokes so that uh, the line won't be too, too harsh. You see how I'm just doing short strokes and following my natural shape. And then at the top, uh, you'll see that I don't start at the front of the brow. I start a little back. And I also, um, I overdraw my arch because I like a more pronounced arch. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But I definitely like a more pronounced arch. And right here, I also messed up. But don't worry, I will go back and clean it up with my concealer. And now I'm just going to take whatever I have left over on that brush and just fill in my brows with short strokes to make it look more hair-like. And now I'm just going to take that spoolie brush and just blend out any harshness in my brows. Because I don't want my brows too dark. So I just take that spoolie brush and blend out. And now right here I'm taking some brown eyeshadow. And I think this is um, from the Lorac Pro Palette, uh, the color Espresso. And I'm just going to fill in wherever I feel a little bald. And it's mostly by my arch because, like I said, I like to overdraw my arch. And I'm just going to blend that out. You just see where I blended it out. And I blend out the front, especially because I don't like boxy brows at the front. And they kind of look boxy, but that's just because of that little bump right there. But I swear they're not boxy at all. And now I'm going to take that LA Girl Pro Conceal and just clean up my brows. Just clean it up and make it sharp and crisp. Now here's where I'm going to clean up what I messed up right here. I usually don't go at the top of my brows because I don't like that halo effect. But I find that if you just blend it out really well, you won't get the halo effect. So right here, I'm just blending it out really well because I don't want it to look light at the top. And now I'm going to take that blending brush and just blend that concealer out under my brows. And right here, you can see where I kind of have a brow bone highlight. Which is okay, but I usually like to put a little shimmer on my brow. Now I'm just going back in and just filling in with that brown eyeshadow. Just fixing anything that I see. I 
think I'm gonna go in one more time and fix a little at the front. Yep, that's what I'm doing right there. And then I think I'm gonna blend it out one more time, I think. Oh no, I think that's the finished brow. Um, I don't know what happened to the clip of uh, both of my brows together. I lost it somehow. So I just attached a clip for my uh, Snapchat and I hope you guys can get the idea of what both my brows look like after I do them. Um, but that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching y'all. Bye.